Awareness doesn't go anywhere during deep sleep. It is the ground, the basis of all experience. But then you might ask the question, why does it feel like I can't recognize awareness during sleep? It seems like it disappears completely. So let's satisfy the question. Where does awareness or consciousness go during sleep? Because for those interested in non-duality, consciousness and awakening, this is a very common question. And a common answer from non-duality teachers is that we do have an experience in deep sleep. And the reason we know that is that when someone asks, did you sleep well? And you say, yes, that response must be based on an actual experience. In this case, the experience of peace, rest and absence of sense objects. If awareness truly ceased, you couldn't recall or affirm that you slept well. In deep sleep, one in their essence is still unbroken awareness, just with the absence of thoughts, sense perceptions or time. We experience deep peace from deep sleep because in the absence of all form, we can do nothing else than be in the absolute peace of our being, as there is nothing else present. We crave deep sleep in this way because it has the flavour of our true nature. This gives rise to a profound question. What if this piece of our being could be accessed and abided in for the totality? However, although I deeply respect and admire these modern teachers and sages who have taught me so much about how to communicate this message, this answer never felt fully satisfying. The thought arose within me, but when someone asks, did you sleep well? And we internally check if we did or not in order to provide an honest answer. I don't think we're necessarily remembering an experience of deep sleep. We are much more likely checking in with how we feel in that moment, with how energized or cognitively sharp we feel, or whether we feel tired or exhausted, and we're using that to decide whether we slept well. I wanted an answer that would really explain the difference in time. I mean, sure, you experience no time in deep sleep, but someone who's awake whilst you're asleep experiences time. So how does that work? It really does seem like awareness completely disappears, at least from the perspective of a third party observer. Then one day, Someone asked me this question on one of the Awakening Body group calls, and whilst answering, this metaphor just came out of the ether. Who remembers the movie Interstellar? The scenes in the movie were based on real physical laws of space-time and gravity. And there's a scene where the astronauts land on a planet close to a massive black hole. Because of the black hole's immense gravity, time moves far more slowly relative to the people further away. So for every hour on the planet, years pass for the crew waiting in orbit. From the perspective of the astronauts on the planet, nothing is missing. They don't feel like hours are being stolen from them or that their awareness goes missing. They experience time normally from their vantage point with unbroken awareness. But when they return to the ship, they find their crewmates aged decades. The clocks don't match. The difference is only visible in comparison when the two perspectives meet. This starts to reveal why it seems like awareness disappears in one asleep, but not in one awake. In the waking state, you're like the crewmate on the ship, observing another perspective within awareness. You experience time at a certain rate relative to those in deep sleep. In deep sleep, it's like you've stepped onto that planet near the black hole. From that apparent perspective, the rate of change, which is what we call time, relative to those awake, compresses to almost zero. The world of sensations, thoughts and perceptions momentarily disappears. From the vantage point of the waking mind, the ship, hours pass, but from the perspective of deep sleep, 
the world appears and then reappears instantaneously. Time appears to have moved very fast, but you only know that because you return to the ship where time moved on relative to where you were. Awareness never really vanished or disappeared. The world just instantly flipped between one time and another, with a dream or astral state in between, if you remember it. With the one who went to deep sleep, their awareness or consciousness didn't disappear. Time just moved faster relative to the one awake. So sages like Ramana Maharshi often said that awareness is continuous in all three states, saying you must exist in your sleep in order to say now, I was not aware in my sleep. Who says that now? The one who's awake. The sleeper cannot. Even when you're in deep sleep and not thinking about anything, the real you is still there just not noticing anything happening in the world of form. When you wake up and say, I wasn't aware while sleeping, it's only the waking you making that guess. But actually, you never stopped being. So the most simple way to see it is to recognise the truth of our experience. Awareness doesn't appear or disappear. The world appears and disappears within awareness. Awareness is ever-present, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. It's the substance of all experience. Just like time in deep sleep can appear to compress to zero relative to the waking state, it can also appear to lengthen and expand. Many people report of having dreams or astral experiences that feel extremely real and long relative to the time they spent asleep. They may experience being in different dimensions. They may experience being in alternate realities where many hours seem to pass relative to the minutes spent napping. So this shows that just like within the universe, time moves differently from one perspective within space relative to another, the same happens with one perspective within awareness relative to another. Those perspectives are the waking state on planet Earth, the dream state, the astral state, and the deep sleep state. Think of them as different areas or dimensions within awareness, all different perspectives within the same unbroken awareness. So I trust this explanation served you deeply. May it act as a pointer to the same unbroken awareness that you are. And if you feel like this illuminated something for you, and you wish to go deeper in realizing and remembering your true nature, I invite you to join Awake and Embodied. Over there, we have weekly live group calls with me, the full Awakening and Embodiment courses, call recordings archive, and a community of supportive beings to hyper accelerate the deepening of your awakening. It's for you if you've had some glimpses of awareness or awakening, but you want to stabilize in the peace of being. It's for you if you felt like you've had some profound experiences, but still experience turbulent feelings and thoughts and want to have a method to alchemize them so you can rest as being and flow with creating your dreams and inner visions. The link to that is in the video description, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.